can't close the school down. Evergreen Elementary is outdated. That's it! A new school! It will be funny. Don't talk to me about funny. I owe taxes on all of this. You are first! This <laughs> girl's sneer is going to be harder to find than a mechanic on a weekend. <laughs> this is the Evergreen Forest. Quiet, peaceful, serene. That is until Burt Raccoon wakes up. <laughs> Luckily, he has some good friends to help him out. Life would be simple in the forest except for... Cyril Sneer. And his life would be simple except for the raccoons. Another school year is about to begin, and the visit from Bentley Raccoon has Bert and Cedric thinking back to their own school days. A trek to Evergreen Elementary is an ideal chance for them to share those special memories. Recess, lunchtime, show and tell. That's what it's all about. Well, there was math, accounting, and don't forget Miss Primrose. Oh, who could forget Miss Primrose? Oh, what a teacher. We were both in the same classroom? Naturally, because there only was one classroom. <laughs> Evergreen Elementary's a one-room schoolhouse. Nothing like that new school you're going to be going to. You must be pretty excited. New school, new teachers to meet, new friends to make. Yeah, you've seen one school, you've seen them all. Hey, there it is, guys. Oh, the old place never looked better to me. What a sight. What a dump. Hey, the school's open. Come on, Bentley. Now I can show you the actual desk where Bert Raccoon sat. Who was that? I don't know. But we're going to be late for class. <laughs> Just like the old days. Race you. What's the big rush? Hey, well, wait for me. Bentley, everybody has to wipe his feet. Wow, this is it? Locker is bigger than this place. Where's the cafeteria? Where are the science labs? Where are the computer rooms? What could anyone possibly learn in this place? Whoops. Perhaps we could learn some manners, young man. And we don't charge in here tracking in mud and disrupting my schoolhouse. Even if it is being closed down forever. Closed? Forever? audit. Sending out representative. Please verify enclosed list of inventory. I owe taxes on all of this. This inventory list is an invention. How can the tax department do this to a humble millionaire like me? With a little practice, we could easily join the pro circuit. Make some fast bucks and get into another racket. <laughs> What in blue places is going on down there? Uh, interior decorating. <laughs> Get up here now, or I'll do some posterior decorating on you clowns with my butt. Yes, sir, boss. We've got work to do. The tax man is coming, and I want you three to get over to the steer warehouse and start counting inventory. These figures they have are way out of line. But this could take all day. And we were planning to practice our tennis serves. You don't get out to that warehouse, I'll be serving you with apples in your mouths. Yes, sir. Clean off those feet. Stop disrupting my schoolhouse. What does she think she is? general in the army? I'm just the teacher here. But can't you get them to change their minds? The school has been here for so long. You even thought my pop. Yes, I did. 
But that man you saw leaving here, Inspector Rutledge, he's from the school board. And according to him, Evergreen Elementary is just too worn down, outdated, and small. They just can't tell you to pack up and close the school down. What are you going to do? I'm being transferred to another school outside the forest. It's supposed to be very nice, very modern, and very big. In fact, I'll have more students in my one class there than I had in this whole schoolhouse. It's going to be quite a change. Let's give Miss Primrose a hand with these boxes. Oh, yeah. oh boy. <laughs> Gee, I don't remember school books being as heavy as this. <sighs> you know, Cedric, we just have to think of some way to help Miss Primrose. We can't let them shut down the school and transfer her out of the forest. I never even wanted to come and see her dumb old school in the first place. Goodbye, Evergreen Elementary. Hello, City Collegiate, Grade 7. City Collegiate? Grade 7? That's my school, my class. I'm doomed. Oh, don't worry. For a bunch of pros like us, this job should be a breeze. A breeze? It looks more like a hurricane to me. I can't believe they're actually closing the old school down. It seems like only yesterday we were sitting in your classroom. Yes, there's a lot of wonderful memories in that room. Speaking of wonderful... Lunch is served. Hey, where's Bentley? Bentley! Lunch! Coming, Bert. Yes, Mom. I'm going to love my new school, Mom. First day? No, I can hardly wait, Mom. Goodbye, Mom. Oh, brother. Well, Bentley, what did your mom have to say? Same old stuff. You know, Bentley is going to a new school this year. You must be really looking forward to it, Bentley. Yeah, I do. Hey, gang, that's it! A new school! Maybe if we made the old school a new school, we could get the school board to reconsider. What do you say, Miss Primrose? Well, I appreciate what you're trying to do, Bert, but I don't think we that We could I... give the place a coat of paint. It might give it a whole new look. Yeah, and I'll write an editorial in the standard. Kind of rally the forest around the cause. If we're going to pull this off, we'll need money. I could bake some cakes and have a sale. Maybe I could even talk to Pop. And I could go clean out the storage closets at the school. I've, I've kept a lot of things over the years. We could raffle them off, but I'll need some help. There you go, Bentley. Something for you to do. Primrose and you should make a great team. Sure, Bert. Anything to help. I'll go call the school board and get Inspector Rutledge to come back. We'll get him to change his mind yet. 688, 689, 688, 689. Hey, guys. Where should I put these? Over here! These? Oops! <laughs> Excuse me, friends, but could I get some directions? They seem to be lost. Where are those procrastinating porkers? Don't they realize I've got the tax man on my tail? Uh, well, thank you, friends, for all that information. You've been a great help. No problem, uh, Inspector. Always glad to help out a government official. Why, those two tiny tenderloins? They're working with the tax inspector. They're spilling their guts. They're squealing just like pigs. Ahem. Uh, <laughs> Lloyd. Uh, Lloyd. I know this looks bad, boss, but uh, we can straighten it out. If you traitorous swine aren't out of here in ten seconds, I'll straighten you out. You mean... We can have the rest of the day off. Take the rest of your lives off. Scrap, beat it, hit the road. Get out of here. 
You are fired. Fired? I never realized how much junk I piled up over the years. Uh, Bentley, would you mind giving me a hand with this box? Sure. Oh. oh. <laughs> was right. We do make a good team, don't we? Hey, where did you get that from? Oh, uh, the school board sent it to us years ago, but I can never get it working properly. This is the kind of computer I learned on at school. Maybe if I'd been able to make more use out of that computer and kept up to date, the school wouldn't be in this awful mess. But I guess it's too late for an old dog like me to learn new tricks. How could the boss fire us like that? We never even got the chance to make up any excuses. <laughs> we never even got the chance to make any <laughs> lunch. Lunch! I said hold all my calls. I'm trying to conduct job interviews. I need some help around here fast. Let's see what your conditions of employment are. Statutory holidays off, a 40-hour work week, two weeks holidays a year. What do you think this is? An executive position? Next! <gasps> Gee, Pop, I uh, guess you're kind of busy. I, beyond busy, I'm closing in on frazzled. What can I do for you, son? Well, Pop, a bunch of us are trying to get everyone in the forest to give some money to help money? keep Money? Don't talk to me about money. I've got a headache the size of this room because I might have to give my money away. Anything else, son? No, Pop. I understand. No! It can't be! It's him, the tax man, and he's brought four forms. I may be out of time, but I'm never out of tricks. <laughs> Mr. Schneer will be with you in one minute. Uh, he's on the overseas line. Uh, just have a seat and relax. <laughs> Here off Schneer is going to be harder to find than a mechanic on a weekend. <laughs> Gee, there sure is a lot of stuff here. Hey, that looks like me. Oh, no, that's Bert with Cedric, Ralph, and Melissa. Boy, do they look scared. <laughs> I guess they were a little nervous that first day of school. I used to make it a practice over the years to take pictures of all my new students. I remember that day so well. How will I know things will turn out all right? Do you go when there's no guarantees in life? Give me a chance to find out. I can't do it on my own. Give me the strength to realize my goals. Can you teach? I tried to tell you, Pop. 
We're holding a fundraiser to save the school from closing down. Closing down? The old school hasn't changed much in all these years. Yeah, and that's the problem, Pop. Miss Primrose! Why, isn't little Cyril Sneer? You still remember me? Of course I remember. You were the best math student I ever taught. It, it was unfortunate that you had to leave school when you did. Yes, well, I had to help out in the family business and... And uh, you've done so well for yourself. I've kept my eye on you. I always knew you had what it takes. Miss Primrose, can you come here for a minute? Sounds just like old times, doesn't it? Have a look around, but be careful or someone will fix you up with a job. Welcome to <gasps> Evergreen Elementary's very first computer room. Bentley, this is wonderful. Want to be the first to give it a try? Oh, uh, why, really, I mean, I shouldn't... Give uh, it a uh, try. Uh, oh, <laughs> uh, well, I'm, I'm not the greatest student, am I? Just hold that key down while you push this one. I did it! I never thought I'd see the day I could use one of these. Do you know, Bentley, you've been a big help to me. It would have been great to have had you as a student. There's something I've been meaning to tell you. I am your student, sort of. Well, what do you mean? Well, you were transferred to my school, my classroom. I didn't tell you because I was worried about going to City Collegiate and having you as my teacher. But that's all changed because we're... Yes, we're still friends. And I understand, Bentley. You know, that would be great, both of us at the same school, because we're really two of a kind. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a dozen chocolate donuts right now. Stop talking about food! Hey, look! Uh, a donut shop? A car! I'll handle this. Just keep them quiet and don't let them chew on the crow. Well, no, when you told me you were better, I had to stop, I did. You told him we were veterans? I said veterans of the road. Excuse me, fellas, but uh, how do we get out of this forest? A turn to your right up here. <laughs> oh, good heavens, I'm back where I started. Do you smell that? Yes. It smells like Master Sandwich Tanks! Stop! Turn around! <laughs> Why, what's this? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Poor kid who had to wear that ridiculous costume. I wore it in the Easter play. Oh, uh, well, what do I know about fashion? Hey, these are great looking cakes, Cedric. Hey, gang, someone's coming. What? Why, those backstabbing bacon bits? They're really out for revenge. They've sniffed me out and brought the checks man, too. Perhaps we should have turned left back there. Hey, hey, what do you think, Fellas? I can't let them find me. I need a disguise. Hello again, Mr. Rutledge. We weren't expecting you so soon. But have we got something to show you? Expecting me? We've cleaned and polished. We've painted and washed. We breathed new life into an old school. Hey. We even got a computer room. What do you say to that, Mr. Rutledge? <gasps> Cake. Huh? Oh, oh. Well, judging by all the work you've done, the school must mean a lot to all of you. But unfortunately, Evergreen Elementary is just too small. A major expansion is the only answer, and we just don't have the money. But you're the school board inspector. Can't you do something? School board inspector. Closed? Not if Cyril Sneer has anything to say about it. Listen, Mr. Inspector. This place is too important to shut down. I went here for as long as I could. And as long as I'm here, this place is going to stay open. Tell your bumbling bureaucratic bosses that I'll fight them all the way on this. I'll cover the costs of expansion. <laughs> well, let's not be hasty either. This is 
My money we're talking about. There's this little tax problem I have to sort out. Otherwise, I'd be glad to help. Public donations are tax deductible, you know. Uh, he's right, Pop. 100% deductible. Tax deductible? Why, that's brilliant. It is. Oh, 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 yes, it is. What would you say, Rutledge, to a donation big enough to bring this school up to scratch? Well, there'll be some paperwork. And, of course, Evergreen Elementary would have to be expanded. But I'd say, you've got a deal. The school can stay open. Hooray! Hooray! Ahem. It, it seems I made a rather inaccurate assessment back at the warehouse. You what? Go! And you boys just saved me a pile of dough. <laughs> So how about we let bygones be bygones and pick up from where we left off? You mean we can have our jobs back? Yeah, but I'm deducting a day's pay for this little holiday you've had. Holiday? Gee, thanks, boss. Gee, we're really gonna miss you around here. Are you sure you have to go? I'm afraid so, boys. I've given it a lot of thought. And I know now, I was just afraid of facing something new. So, I'm off to City Collegiate to learn more about the newfangled technology Bentley has been showing me. I'm going to be a teacher and a student. After all, someone has to run the new Evergreen Elementary and the Cyril Sneer Wing when it's built right. All right! <laughs> Miss Primrose, let's get going. I want to look around our new school, because we're going to be the new faces this year. Look out, City Collegiate. Here we come.